our next guest, he's intensely and talented. Yes. Actor who all we all love this guy. He's from the Hunger Game films. <gasps> well, now he stars on the popular Hulu series Future Man. Take a look. Why is everybody smashing things? Technology has been used to murder and oppress my people for generations. It's just a harmless panini place. Ah! Not anymore. Smash everything in this pile before the sun hits the third hole. What? <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome Josh Hutcherson. <laughs> How you feeling? Are you okay? Hey, that was hey. intense. That I tell you right intense. now, um, it's not, if we had to have babies, there would be a very less populated earth. That's what I'm going to have. <laughs> well, speaking of the rough things a show will put you through, which yeah. we just did to Michael, the show you're shooting puts you through a lot of the rough ringer, some scenes. Would call it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, there's so much happens in, in the second season, especially. There was one moment, um, actually, in the first episode when. My character is submerged in this tub of goo, like this vat of goo, and I have like a prosthetic appendage. Oh. Okay. That I, I okay. have on my body. Okay. And um, and uh, basically, I was in this goo doing multiple takes, and at some point, the goo just starts to get into the prosthetic, and it starts to fall off. Oh. Uh, and I was just like, guys, we got like maybe one more take before this becomes a very different show. <laughs> uh, and we, thank God we got it all, and it was all not quite PG, but close enough. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, man, I'm tuning in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, your character, this, your character's name on the show is also Josh. It is. So I'm curious, does that make it easier for you or make it more difficult? It's terrible. It's so, it's so, it's so distracting and I feel like a crazy person because I start talking in third person to like the director. Uh -huh. I'm like, well, when Josh walks in, do you think Josh would say this or would he stand over here first? <laughs> no, Josh, Josh, Josh would never say that. Josh would never. <laughs> so I'm like, I, and then in the middle of a scene, somebody would be like, Josh, what are you doing? And I'm like. I don't know. Oh wait, no. It's my character. It's a whole. Like to it's torture. It's yeah. torture. I don't know why they. Out. I don't know why they did that. They shouldn't have hired me. Now you got started. <laughs> Maybe change the character. You were so good in the goo scene, though. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank um, but you. you got started very young. Do you remember your first acting job? I do. My my very first acting job was um, in a Bible study video for a, a church in the middle of Ohio, and I don't re I don't remember much, but I remember being with a bunch of kids, and I w had a rope. Around the neck of a goat. It wasn't the goat was fine. What it wasn't kind of like that. Was this? I'm not sure, <laughs> but I, uh, I, I, in my mind, I thought like, next stop Hollywood. Let's go. Let's <laughs> do this. Yeah, but then also I did this commercial. It was funny. I did this commercial, and I it was for Time Warner Cable, mm -hmm. and they hired me to be the new like spokes kid of Time Warner Cable. And after they hired me, I was there shooting the commercial, and I couldn't say Time Warner. Oh. I was like Time Warner. Time, time. I couldn't like get the emphasis on the syllables correct. And <laughs> it was just all a nightmare. Well, we dug a little yeah. something, something up. Let's see. Oh a look. God. Guys, you're looking at a true neighborhood <laughs> hero. Before he came to town, there were only five TV channels. Huh? If you don't believe me, ask your mom. But now you can get over 250 channels thanks to Time Warner's advanced cable network. Oh, it's way right better than satellite. Oh jeez. Oh man. They fixed the right spokesperson. I'm your guy. You're so cute, your that little buzz cut. I uh, know. I, I thought I was Justin Timberlake with the blonde, I was going to say the, the highlight. Blonde tips, the blonde. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was... But you know, I, when you were a kid, I, I, I saw something. When you were a kid, you had some really fascinating friends. Kind of, they were kind of hard to spot, though. They, I, yeah, I had these two very interesting imaginary friends. Um, <laughs> from the age of like four to eight, maybe, or seven or 18. I'm not, I can't remember. Um, but they were called Hamo and Damo. Uh -huh. And basically, like, picture the troll dolls with like their crazy little hair and weird faces with more dragon-like features, wearing like regal suits and talking with British accents. Well, you know what's so- That's vivid. That and it, one was solid pink and one was solid blue. And they'd be like, hello, Josh, let's go on a big jam. And I'm like, in retrospect, it sounds terrifying. Hamo and Damo? Hamo and Damo. Well, you know, we, we, we reached out to our friends, Hamo and Damo, and they actually- <laughs> Man, that's, that's too close to home. Hello! <laughs> I can't. I'm having like some PTSD. Like, this is not good. This is not. Stop! <laughs> One in each pocket.
and it'll help you for those really tough scenes, okay? Mm-hmm. Hello, and old thank friends. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you for being here, man. Great to see you, by the you way. You can stream season two of Future Man beginning this Friday on Hulu. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.